Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, my name's Janelle and I upload new videos every Wednesday and Friday. So I hope I don't look stupid with this hat. I feel like I always look dumb in hats. Anyway, I wanted to be super fall and vibey and do my first fall makeup look for you guys. Definitely consider subscribing if you wanna see more fall content from me. I plan on doing more fall makeup, fashion, and home decor videos. Grab yourself a pumpkin spice latte, some warm apple cider, and just hang out with me, get ready with me, and see how I got this super it's pretty simple, basic fall makeup look. And you could totally, why is my hair everywhere? You could totally make this more of an everyday makeup look by like not doing the lashes and the intense liner. It's just like an all matte, pumpkin-y eyeshadow look. So check me out on Instagram and TikTok. I'm so active on there when I'm not posting on here. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified every Wednesday and Friday when I upload. I love you all so much. I pray you all stay safe and let's get into this video. Love you guys. All right, so since I had to wash my face and start completely over just because I was over it, we have to re-prep the skin. So for my moisturizer today, I'll be using the Premium Jane Premium CBD Facial Cream. And I love this stuff. It has collagen and caviar oil, so it really like tightens and brightens the skin. It gives you a really beautiful natural glow. Premium Jane sells a bunch of different CBD topicals that I feel like really help just like calm and soothe the skin keep it hydrated, keep it like nice and tight and plump. They also sell CBD gummies for dogs. They have CBD gummies for humans, but I really love their topical face cream. So Premium Jane is offering you guys a coupon code. If you use the code Janelle in all caps, you can get 25% off your purchase. This facial cream is definitely worth getting. It's already a really good deal for like a really nice moisturizer, but then at 25% off, you really cannot beat it. I just love how tacky it leaves the skin and it's it's beautifully under makeup. And then I always like to take an extra pump and take that with my ring finger and then tap it under my eye. I really feel like this helps tighten and brighten the under eye area. Now I'm going to cover up this blemish because it's driving me crazy. By the time I put on my foundation, it'll probably move this around, but I cannot bear to look at this any longer. Prep my eyes. I'm just gonna use my RCMA concealer palette. I'm gonna take a little bit of this lighter concealer and just do a light sweep of that all over my eye and then I'll set it with a loose powder. So I'm really excited to be doing this fall makeup look. However, this was not the initial plan for the day. I was originally going to film a fall shop with me slash decorate with me video. I was so excited. I had literally written out this video plan back in like the end of July. I was so excited. So today got up, I was gonna film it, but then I got a notification on my phone saying that there was a flash flood warning and to not leave your house. And it said that that warning would be in effect until 8 a.m. I'm just using a fluffy brush and then my Derma Blend powder to set. I asked Alex cause he was out and about and I was like, hey, like are the roads okay? Like, is it okay to drive? He's like, yeah, it's good. At that point, the flash flood warning had extended until 3 p.m. And he was like, no, yeah, I think it should be good. So I was like, okay. And I wanted to get like in full fall glam and just make it like a whole, just like fall day. And then Alex comes home. I'm in the middle of filming the reel. And then Alex comes home and he's like really upset. And I'm like, hey, what's wrong? Turns out our entire basement had flooded and Alex's man cave is in the basement. He has all of his shoes down there. He has like clothes down there. <sighs> it was a mess. Pretty much all day I spent cleaning out the basement. We had to let things dry. We had to do a bunch of laundry because literally a whole clean laundry basket of clothes got dirty. So then I'm like cleaning one of the rugs that got damaged down there. And then I find a dead bird on my driveway <laughs> to just make matters even better. You know what? At least I can still film this makeup tutorial. I was gonna film this early. That way I could start editing, have it ready for tomorrow. They start doing road work. So I couldn't film all day cause they were literally like ripping up the road. And last time I tried to film when they were doing that, the sound quality was terrible. Then I go to film right now. Everything just kept getting messed up. I had to redo the look like three times, but you know what? We are here now. We are gonna stay positive. Everything happens for a reason, God's in control. That's honestly all I can do because getting upset isn't gonna change anything. So I might as well just be cool with everything. Anyway, and plus now I can kind of like backtrack and see really how I wanna go about makeup look. So I'm gonna start off with this shade in my Patrick Ta palette. It's a really light beige nude. I'm just gonna do a light sweep of that all over my eyelid. Crap, I forgot to do my brows. So I'm just gonna work that in this front part and then angle it out and up. It worked out because I ended up editing one of my YouTube videos into a reel and so far it's doing really good. 
so that's nice how are you guys doing are, are things okay with you guys like really do not hesitate to ever reach out to me i love connecting with you guys so if you ever need anything any sort of prayer please reach out to me it definitely makes me feel like what i'm doing is way more useful than just doing makeup but i love makeup but i also want to be able to connect with people help people things like that i don't want my whole purpose of being on here just to show you guys how to do makeup you know i'm not gonna take this color in the patrick top palette so we're gonna take a straight edge i'm actually gonna use this little sample thing i got and i'm just gonna start stamping that with this long comb angled brush See, this already is looking so much better. That's how we know everything happens for a reason. What color should we change? Next up, I'm gonna take this color in the Tati Beauty palette. It's a really pretty orange, but it does have a little bit of a sparkle throughout it. But it's more of a matte consistency with just like a spray over of sparkle. So I'm gonna keep that straight edge there. That way we just have a guide, it'll catch fallout. And then I'm gonna go right on top of the brown that we just placed, but this time keeping it lower more onto the eyelid. And I'm just gonna press that. I'm gonna use like the really pointed tip, lightly flick it, up. boom. So once we have that there, we just need to get a clean blending brush. Taking this Morphe M456 brush, I'm going to press it to blend. I'm gonna take the tip of the angled brush and go back into the brown. And then we're just gonna lightly take that and press it here just to re-intensify. Boom, I'm not gonna do too much because this is how it got muddy last time. I kept blending it too much and then it all just kind of like meshed together. Hello, Judge. Hi, Papa. How are you? How are you doing? Pre and Alex. Pretty good. Um, oh, that's what I was calling because I just turned the TV on and there's been flooding up in New Jersey and Philadelphia. Uh, Call my jerk. Make sure she's okay. All, all right, right Papa. Yeah, God bless you. Love you. Too. Love you. So my grandfather just called because he he was watching the news. He's in Florida. So he called to check. That was actually very so nice. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this color in my palette and I'm going to pick that up with a smaller fluff brush. I'm going to put that all over this empty area here. I want to go for more of a matte look. I don't know why that's been my vibe lately. I feel like you can do more drama with a matte look and it's not going to look too intense. I'm now taking this matte creamy color in the palette. I'm going to use that to highlight my inner corner. Small fluff brush. And we're gonna work it up like that. And also taking that matte light cream color, I'm gonna put some underneath of my brow. You, so we survived this side. Now we're gonna do this side. I'll probably touch up a little bit here and there as I go, but all in all, I think this will be the basis for the eye look. Next, I'm just gonna take my Brown Physicians Formula Eyeliner and do a light little wing across my top lash line. So lately for a foundation, I have been really enjoying my Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Foundation. I just find that this gives a really pretty finish to the skin. It's a nice like satin, but more matte finish foundation. And I feel like I haven't used a matte finish foundation in a little bit. So I'm gonna take a little bit and put it in the center of my face first and then blend it out with my beauty sponge. Now I'm actually gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape because I haven't used this concealer in a little bit. I'm just gonna put a little bit here and up here. And then also just apply it to the places that I normally highlight. Put that in with the same beauty sponge. Also gonna push it up against the sides of my nose. I'm going for full coverage, velvety skin. All right, I'm now gonna take my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Stick and I'm gonna do a couple lines here. I've been liking to do that lately. I feel like it really helps pull the brows back. And then a little underneath of my cheekbone here on my jawline, a little under there. And then we're gonna buff that in. I'm gonna be using my Makeup by Mario F1 face brush. This is my favorite for just like blending out cream products effortlessly. Set my face, I'll be using my Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. And I'm just gonna start buffing this 
Oh wait, why did I use this? I like to use my power cup. So we'll do half with a brush and then the other half with my powder. And that way I could actually do like a side-by-side -side comparison. For bronzer, I'm gonna be using my Makeup by Mario bronzer in the shade medium. And again, I'm just focusing it in that same angular motion, kind of like pulling up my eyebrow. I'm gonna take the small side of my Makeup by Mario brush in the same bronzer and I'm just gonna tap that on the sides of my nose. Then we're gonna set our face with some Fix Plus. And then for blush, I'm gonna be using this really pretty cool tone pinky color by Sephora. And this is in the shade Over the Moon. I'm loving to use a blush like this with a really warm eye. I feel like the contrast just really makes it stand out. And then don't forget to put some across the nose. Then for highlight, I'll take my Makeup by Mario highlighter in the shade Golden. I'm only going to be applying this down my nose and putting a little bit in my inner corner. I'm not gonna apply it to my cheekbones because I want the face to be more of like a velvety finish. So I'm gonna use my Huda Beauty powder in the shade Pound Cake to set my under eyes. I'm also going to use that to clean up underneath of my blush. I'm just using this small little triangle powder puff I got from Amazon. I'm gonna start here. And then I'm gonna press it underneath of my eye. So then I'm gonna spray my Maybelline Lasting Fix Setting Spray to lock everything in place. Next, I'm gonna fill in my brows really quick. We're gonna speed through this because this is boring. And then... And since I feel like I went a little bit too dark on the brows, I'm gonna take my MAC False Lashes Eyelash Primer this is for your lashes, but I do like using it on the brows whenever I accidentally go too heavy handed because it will leave a slight white cast to soften it. And then it does hold the hairs up and in place. So see, it'll go on white, but it will end up drying clear. Now I'm gonna mix these two colors for my lower lash line just to give it a little bit of warmth. And then I'm gonna take my Patrick Ta Major Dimension Brown Eyeliner in the shade Rich Brown and apply that to my waterline. So for the lip pencil, I'm gonna line my lips with Koki Aubergine Retractable Lip Pencil. And then for the lip color, I'm gonna be using this NYX Shine Loud Lipstick, and this is in the shade Goal Getter. And then I'll top it off with the gloss that comes on the other side. And this lipstick is literally mask proof. It'll stay put all day. The gloss is so shiny. It literally makes your lips look like glass. Okay, so I'm gonna do lashes and all that off camera and I'll be right back for the outro. I will leave the lashes that I use and all that linked in the description box. All right, you guys, I had to throw on the hat to get the full fall aesthetic going on, but this is the completed look. I'm actually very happy with how it came out. Literally, like, let me know what other fall content you guys want to see, because I'm definitely gonna be doing a ton. I would love to hear you guys' recommendations. Definitely consider subscribing and joining the fam. And I love you guys. I pray you all stay safe. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram and TikTok, and have a blessed day. Bye.